Since the inception of what was then the Bush Series in 1982, NASCAR's second tier series has served as the ultimate proving ground for the sport's most elite drivers. 40 plus years of racing and the now Xfinity Series still continues to embrace its role in the NASCAR feeder system, boasting the phrase, names are made here. But that mantra isn't just reserved for up and coming talent. Many of NASCAR's journeyman drivers have made the Xfinity Series home, giving life to careers that may otherwise be forgotten at NASCAR's highest level and affording them the opportunity to live in the history books forever as a NASCAR champion. And by conquering a playoff field that impeccably represents the DNA of the series itself, 12 drivers look to add that title to their resume. Ladies and gentlemen, Big Motor Small Blade presents your bandwagoner's guide to the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series Playoffs. 12th on the playoff grid is journeyman driver Parker Kligerman. Parker is a 15-year veteran of NASCAR, and at season's end, he will step away from full-time competition. He's never won a NASCAR Xfinity Series race, but he has seven more opportunities and the chance to bring Big Machine Racing their first championship. After scoring a victory in his rookie season with Joe Gibbs Racing last year, Sammy Smith was touted to be one of NASCAR's next superstars. But his sophomore season has left much to be desired. He's with the series juggernaut JRM, and although he's failed to record a victory this season, the playoff berth gives the 20-year-old the opportunity to succeed. The passion that AJ Allmendinger exudes has been the driving force behind the entire college organization. Even without scoring a win this season, Allmendinger has willed the number 16 car into another pursuit for a championship. He may be moving on to the Cup Series next year, but he has one more trophy to hunt down for college racing. The question is often posed to a race car driver, what would you do to win a race? But the question for Sheldon Creed is what do I have to do to win a race? He's finished second a record 13 times, including six just this year. Creed moves on to Haas factory team next season. Huh. The driver of the Joe Gibbs 18, who's finished second an ungodly amount of times, will move on at season's end. It makes you think. Haven't we seen this story before? The man Creed's replacing at Haas Factory team is Riley Herbs. His family's convenience store chain, Terrible Herbs, crudely encapsulated Riley's early career. But the Indianapolis winner has nothing left to prove. The future may be uncertain for Riley, but don't let the uncertainty fool you. The future is bright for Terrible Herbs. Sam Mayer has two victories so far this season, but his stat line reads like a heart monitor. Mayer has an explosive driving style that took him all the way to the Final Four last season, and he looks to give JRM an even better send-off this year as he leaves for Haas in 2025. Jesse Love has had the quintessential rookie season. He's had flashes of greatness, flexing the RCR muscle at the first three super speedways, but has been otherwise anonymous. But to win it, you have to be in it, and his victory at Talladega earlier this year got him in, and the rookie may be a sleeper to win it all. But no rookie has been more impressive than Auckland, New Zealand's Shane Van Gisbergen. In his first foray into NASCAR, the three-time Supercars champion has scored three victories so far this season. He's one of the best studies in all of motorsports, completing 91% of the total laps run this season. But it's playoff time, and there's no one better at turning up the aggression than SVG. In his sophomore season, Chandler Smith could be the favorite for the Xfinity Series title. He scored two victories so far this season, including the spring race at the championship track, Phoenix Raceway. He's eyeing to give Joe Gibbs Racing their third championship in four seasons. Austin Hill has nine career Xfinity Series victories, but seven of them have come on super speedways. And with only one super speedway in the playoffs, he's going to have to find some pace at the non-drafting tracks. He's failed to make it through the round of eight each of the last two seasons, but maybe the third time's the charm, and Austin Hill can welcome the championship back to RCR. There's no tool more important to a racing driver than confidence. It's something Cole Custer yearned for at the beginning of 2023, and in that pursuit for that coveted trait, he reached the pinnacle. Cole Custer is the defending Xfinity Series champion, 
and he carries with them that confidence into the playoffs of 2024. The regular season champion is hoping to bookend his exit and re-entry into the Cup Series with back-to-back -back Xfinity titles. The number is six. Six times Justin Allgaier has made the Final Four. He's still seeking his first Xfinity Series championship. Eight years ago, Justin Allgaier was a backmarker cup driver flirting with the dreaded label of used goods. Since then, he's become a staple of the Xfinity Series, scoring 25 victories, including two this season. The magic number is seven. Seven races to put car seven in its seventh final four. Could it all be adding up to Little Gator finally becoming a NASCAR champion? Kansas, Talladega, Charlotte Roval, Las Vegas, Miami, Martinsville, and Phoenix. 12 drivers on a seven week journey striving to put respect on the name they've made and forever be known as a champion.